It is a world of darkness. To the abyss with me. A <laughs> freaking baseball bat. Come on. Wow. Ow. I don't need companions. I got, I got my my dogs from hell. They'll keep me company. Look at him go. It's weird playing Kristoff as like a summoner mage. Actually, not doing half bad. You just gotta have like sufficient numbers. Oh man. Uh. Tough. Blood more valuable than ammo. Blood is ammo, essentially. Come on. To the abyss with you. Oh my god, the Ankern sword is so good. Really want to use that rifle. get to that in a second.
cash. There's nothing in this room. Uh, I don't think I can jinga my way through. It's just not enough. Just. Come on! Who's that? Uh oh, the hounds of hell call for thee. From the journal of Father Leo Aldacius, Society of Leopold. Today, plunged into Viserard Castle with three fire teams of expensive mercenaries, fully expecting to find a hive of Zimitsi cultists. Imagine our surprise when we found the ruins deserted, deserted and utterly intact. This, despite the fact that several of Vukodlak's faithful followers survived the Night of Fire and seek to resurrect their lord. This is proof that God favors me above all others. Mason even knows how to use computer. The fall of Viserot Castle from an unknown source, probably Kendra. Smitsi conspire against not just the other clans, but against the antediluvians and Cain himself, and against God in an ultimate battle they dare to hope to win. In their monstrous hubris, they see themselves as the true masters of all kindred and of all ancient power. In the last days after the deluge, the ancient Smitsi Vukodlak gathered demonic power by defiling all that was good and pure. He posed a threat to the ancient order of Canaanites and was cast into deep torpor. But his loyal Smitsi followers conserved his power for centuries and sought to resurrect their dread lord. I, it must just be like on the desktop and he's just reading them because there's no way he knows how to use a computer. That guy's like, oh no. Please, no. Do the abyss with me. Ammo. That's all the ammo I can afford. Ammo's cheap though, so whatever. <coughs> really? Animals. <laughs> Just go. Just get them. Come on! You can't stake me, fools! 
certainly poke me with your sharp wooden stick, though. <laughs> healing ointment. Medieval healing ointment. That's great. Uh, I really just want to just go ham and just, you know, use guns. I just don't have room. Yeah, because... Hmm. Oh, well. Come on. Ow. Yeah, you're you're pretty much like safe for this level. Come back off, the abyss with I'm sending you to hell. I think I have it already, actually. Might have this discipline already. Yep. Fall of Isserard Castle. Additions to the original by Brother Maynard of the Arcanum. In the 12th century, Bukidlock's cultists nearly succeeded in raising him from torpor. But the bourgeois Prometheans, led by a Catarina of the Wise. Oh, sure, she took, she took all the credit. And raised Visserod Castle to rubble. Ekaterina conspired with the mortals of Prague, who had suffered the depredations of Vukudlok's followers. The mortals aided the Prometheans in the short term, but in the long run the kindred suffered. Ekaterina's act built up mortal opposition to vampires, which would soon culminate in the Inquisition. No one ever suspects the Inquisition! Come on! All right, let's go. Come on. To the abyss with Shoddy. Come on! Come on! I'm sending you Come on! Oh, we cross a revolver. <sighs> Let's leave it. This is it's getting a little dangerous. You with all the holy water, stop it. To the abyss with thee. Oh my god. Oh my god. There. The report. 
from the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold, September 1999. Today we begin our excavation of Visserard Castle in earnest. We had better find a lot of valuable artifacts and lore. This is costing me a fortune. Some large carved stones are proving very difficult to break through. Okay. The Hounds of Hell! Burns me. Go! Alright, let's take care of you. I actually killed one, wow. Come on! Oh my god. There. <laughs> right, now you. Now for you. You're not going anywhere. Ow! Being tased, being sprayed with holy water. Ow! Alright. He's dead. Junk. I knew it. Uh ammo. We are almost out of this building. Last level. Come on. Come on. How? Alright, let's go. Come on. Back off, blood sucker. I'm sending you to hell. It's okay. To the abyss with you. Shotgun. It's locked. Okay. Gotta go upstairs. Oh, you now. Anything behind me? No. Come on. Gotcha. Oh, they're protected. Ah, I see. Come 
Ow. Okay. Yeah, to the abyss. Five, not bad. Come on. Baseball bats. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold, October 1999. Damn! The Zamitsi drove us off my excavation! Killed half my men! We barely got away with the artifacts we uncovered. I cannot believe the Lord allowed this travesty! Friar Ig insists that the large carved stones over the ruins were protective blessings placed after the fall of Vizelard Castle by persons unknown. He maintains that the Zemitsi could freely pillage the ruins once we broke through the wards. I dislike his holier-than-thou attitude and don't miss him very much, though he was useful in finding the site of the ruin. Not Friar Ignatius. Deal with that. Come on, Hellhound, do something. Diamond bracelet. Cash. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of the God has blessed me with my greatest prize, an ancient vampire still sleeping in deep torpor. He's a blaspheming heretic who wears the red cross of a crusader to mark all that is holy. I'll enjoy tormenting such an evil creature. I've shipped him to my estate where I'll bind him and fatten him on fresh plasma. Then, engorged on his blood, I will hunt down the Zamitsi, who dare to steal artifacts that were rightfully mine. I know little about them, except that they have excavated a tremendous amount of earth from the site and shipped it to London. And from there, I think, to New York, the diabolical home of the Sabbat. They must be setting up a large operation to need so much earth from their homeland. Okay. Hmm. Quite the conundrum. Drop the ammo. Let's 
There's a weapon in there. But unfortunately... I'm just flat out of room. I s mm. I'll have to do for now. I always come back here if need be. Ow! To the abyss with me. Come here. Come on. Okay. Now for the boss of the area. Hello, filthy little kindred. I am Father Leo Alatius. And I have killed bloodsuckers like you for two hundred years. I have no wish to fight thee. Then give up your blood without a fight. It will make a tasty addition to my collection. Early generation kindred. Vintage 12th century. 1140. A good decade for Vitae. I wish only to leave this place. But I will kill thee if I must. Your time is dead, boy. You can never fit into this world. You have no one. You are nothing. Let us deliver you from this alien land of eternal loneliness and pain. I did not endure for 800 years to die at thy behest. Oh. So this is something you can do. We can just do this. That's it. That's that's the boss. I mean, you can find him normally, but um, that's just something you can do. Uh, I'll do prison of ice. Let's just work on stats. Please save me, save me! Save me, save me! The Journal save of me. Father Leo Alicious, Society of Leopold. These damned Zamitsi are proving very hard to find, since they hired the criminal Giovanni to make their shipments untraceable. Still, once the blood of my sleeping vampire courses through my veins, I'll find them and crush the sleeping Vukadlak. Then, with the blood of Vukadlak in my veins, I'll be able to destroy all vampires. Of course, I don't mean all vampires. I'll require a well-maintained flock of imprisoned vampires to keep me supplied with blood. And I'll have to crush all the other vampire slayers lest they destroy my flock. Then I'll have life eternal without succumbing to the curse of Cain. This will take time, but I have all the time in the world. My first 300 years of life will soon seem like nothing more than a prelude to my holy domination of the earth. Tomorrow, we try to feed the vampire without awakening him. Okay. Modified pistol? What's that about? Oh, it has more accuracy. Interesting. Alright. 
come back here just to grab some more stuff. Come on. To the abyss with me. That guy was like, oh no, I want no part. To the abyss with me. Yeah. Too much stuff, not enough space. Source of the shipments. I don't know if the doors are unlocked now or what. I'm sending you straight to hell. Yeah, guys. Okay, yeah. Let's beat your ghoul boss. You're the ones who's gonna kill me. Come on. Freedom! Freedom at last! 